We talked in a previous video about what a deficiency is, and if you have a deficiency in Alabama after a foreclosure, you can be sued for that. So just as a reminder, if you owe $300,000, foreclosure sells for two hundred fifty, dollars you owe that gap, that $50,000 gap. Well, that can be collected against you by phone calls, by writing, or by suing you. So if you get a lawsuit from Regions Bank, Compass, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, whoever it is, don't say, well, my neighbor's second cousin's ex-wife's boyfriend's uncle said, I can't be sued for this. So I'm just going to ignore it. And I'm obviously exaggerating here and being a little bit sarcastic, but we've seen people do that. They go, well, I, I got this lawsuit, but this, this can't be happening because I heard somebody on the radio say they can't do this. Well, you might want to get with a lawyer in Alabama before you decide just to throw that lawsuit in the garbage because if it's a valid lawsuit, and you've been served, they'll get a default judgment against you. And then when you say, but, but, but I, I, I heard you can't do this. The judge isn't going to be interested in that. He's going to say, you should have showed up. You should have responded. So understand you can be sued. There are options. There are defenses. There are ways to work these things out or to win these lawsuits. So this is not a hopeless situation but you cannot bury your head in the sand. And I'm not trying to be harsh in this video, I'm just saying, you get sued, you gotta take action. Something like 80, 90% of people sued in a collection lawsuit, whether for a credit card, or medical bills, or deficiencies, they just ignore it. They do nothing. And if you do that, you'll lose, and there'll be very bad consequences. So, if you've been sued, give us a call. 205-879-2447 or you can go to alabamaconsumer.com you can read articles there and you can also contact us through that website.